Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So I'm going to be pulling from the Moonology deck tonight. Don't forget, flip your rolls, take what you need, and leave what you don't need, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guys, for showing up. What's the message for Virgo? Make sure you're using discernment, okay? Um, and if you're triggered, face your mirror, not my comment section. Thank you so much. Also, check out these shirts, right? It's called MS Happens. All right, so my son has multiple sclerosis. He was diagnosed 11-11, um, y'all. I think it was 11-11-21. I feel like it was 21 or 22. It might have was 22. Um, but we created an um, MS collection from his MSC brand, which is Major Success Creations. But yes, it's um, a shirt that is dedicated to all of our MS warriors out there. So if you want to support the cause, part of the proceeds and donations go to um, an MS nonprofit organization as well. And basically, our goal is to bring awareness of MS. Okay. Take time out to breathe. You can follow him over on TikTok um, or Instagram. I'll leave that information on the screen. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, so take time to breathe out. I feel like you may got a lot on your plate and um, you taking on some stuff here. I feel like you're trying to keep your balance, like you're trying. But it's just like, just a lot of stuff coming at you. Um, take time to breathe. Disseminating moon, 34. All right, so basically it says, the intensity of the full moon has abated. And what are we left with? That's what this card is asking you. It suggests that the situation you're asking about has now peaked and it's time for you to regroup and learn from your experience rather than blindly forging ahead. Have faith that what is happening is for the best. Try to accept the way things are now and give yourself and others time to time out to relax, breathe. We can't be on all the time. If you feel you've hit an obstacle or even failed in some way, now is the time to reflect on how to do things differently next time. But be honest with yourself. If you feel bad about your current situation, and then remind yourself that life goes in cycles, okay? Um, attune to the moon, and it says, I am where I am, and it's okay, all right? So you should know where you stand, either now or very soon. And you need to take some time out for your own good. Um, and it's time for you to share your wisdom and experience with someone else. And then we got conclusions are within reach with the full moon eclipse. And so this card is saying, and just like that, a door slams shut. If you pull this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about has reached its peak, the same as take time to breathe, or has just done so, and things are now out of your hands. What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for, a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time. As hard as it might be, forgiving someone for what they did could be the key to resolving the situation in a positive way. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases you so that you can move on. That which is meant for you will not pass you by, okay? Um, so it's saying the doors that will slam shut now will not reopen. It's time for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of karma and meditate, okay? So, um, yeah, something's reached this peak. Let's reach this peak in Virgo life. This peak from Virgo's life. 
I feel like you keep trying and trying and trying to do something and it's like and it's not manifesting and so basically again it's like you reached your peak right it's at the end point of this and I don't know if you're fearing the change or something here or you're just clinging on but it's still bringing some type of disappointment temperance so now it's time for you to really kind of make a decision okay and you want to be able to um make a decision that's going to bring some type of balance all right so take some time to breathe out because again it's coming to that point where you have to go forward and you're going to have to make a decision but you need to do it carefully you need to do it balanced and you need to have patience while doing it okay um and examine your situation your priorities and everything, all right? Because, yes, it, you don't want it to throw you off balance. And you don't want to to um, not be listening to your intuition and, and, and your ego with it. The King of Cups also is in the reverse here. C clarify the King of Cups reverse. You want to be emotionally balanced when it comes to this decision. The higher part comes out. What's the T with the King of Cups reverse? So this could be somebody crying over you. <laughs> or you crying over them. Yep, so this could be about commitment. Or it also could be about um, your own personal beliefs. Or it could be about a, a job or a tradition, religion or something, right? Of that nature. But let's talk about this person crying. Tell me about the crying over you. Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. And this that Virgo energy on both ends, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And I feel like you're at the peak as far as even when it comes to your own achievements, your self-sufficiency, things like that, okay? And you may have been really just giving and giving and giving, okay? You're very generous. You got, you share. There's no problems there, all right? And um, you're ready to see your rewards pay off. You're looking for something to pay off here. Four of Wands is in the reverse. But it's really not. It just seems like it keeps being some type of tension or, or some type of upheaval that is happening or breakdown in communication in some kind of way. And so now this is why it's saying, hey, guess what? Something's reached the peak. And so whatever your personal goals may be, again, um, it's going to be time for you to make a decision, right? Because you want to be able to see some changes. So that you can see some progress. Yeah, so definitely this is a time, Virgo, you're going to have to be in hermit mode, okay? Because you got to make a decision. Two of Pentacles. And you don't want to be wearing a blindfold while doing it with the two of swords, okay? You, want, you do not want to be you know, stuck at the crossroads, having a hard time making a decision or a choice or whatever because your emotions and, you know, stuff may be tied up in something or something is weighing you down with the situation. Because again, like I said, it's like, you want to be able to see some type of progress. You don't want to choose to keep the blindfold on. And avoiding the issues won't make it go away. So what are the issues? Knight of Swords and the Devil. Okay, so somebody just keeps, you know, coming in too quickly. And it's they're doing it out of ego, okay? But it's like as fast as they come in, as fast as they, they leave out. It's like you're not seeing any progress when it comes to the ego base, right? Okay, so really think about it.